as vertically integrated as we possibly can. So uh, that's a big shout out to y'all that are here, a big shout out to these guys. But we wanted to make sure uh, that we showed as much love to the crew and the people that have helped us uh, make it this far as well. So we brought some gifts um, that we've been working on for a while. Uh, the most important, I shouldn't say the most important, but one of the biggest shows we did this year was live at the Apollo Theater in New York. We had two sold out shows. And if, and, if, and if anybody's watched that show, uh, uh, Chico, I'm sorry, Chico, Carlos, DC, they were superstars on stage. The band was superstars on stage. So what we did with the guys, we had them sign them and we had them number them. Uh, when Joe and I used to work for Steve Harvey, he used to uh, tell us all the time that he wished that he had more uh, takeaways and memorabilia that he could hold on to. So we make sure whenever we, as fast as we move, we try to take a couple pit stops uh, to be thankful uh, for a lot of the work that we've done so far. So. We want to pass this out to some of our crew members. Uh, and where are those uh, checks? You got those on? Yeah. And right, we also have uh, some financial hand uh, 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 oh, we uh, bonuses as well for some of the people that done some work for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 hold on. You get a chance. Miss Pastage, come on down. Ryan Pham. Big shout out to Ryan Pham. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan you is our lost your own money. Yeah. Ryan is our, our, our tour manager, operations manager. Uh, he makes sure that all these three guys are where they need to be uh, and where the crew's where they need to be. He makes sure that uh, I can uh, sign what I need to sign. That uh, he takes care of a whole lot of stuff that doesn't get credit for. So we want to give a big shout out to Ryan. He also put this all together for me. Yeah. Next is uh, where's that guy? Where's that guy? Sex. Yeah, we got sex. We got something for you. We got something for you. We got something for you. So the guy sex. Bleeding uh, gum, Murphy. Let me let me tell you what's. What, <laughs> let me let me let me tell you the story about sex. Sex came to our Memphis show as a fan. Right. Paid for a ticket, sat in the audience, and he did everything he could to reach out to every last one of these guys. Somehow got through to somebody. I can't remember who it was. My probably was Los. He probably is Los. Yeah, and Los and Los was like, hey. Lo said, hey, this guy's nice on the horn, give him a shot. We gave him a shot, he been riding with us ever since. So yeah. shout out to Seth. Yeah. Yes, sir, appreciate you, big dog. Next is that boy, Clax. Come on over here, man. Clax yeah. is extremely important for the show. Whenever these guys go to church, that's the guy that's on the organ. Uh, so Clax can play damn near anything. Uh, he's a genius, he's really quiet, he don't really talk much. We don't really know how he feels about us, but we appreciate him being here. <laughs> We appreciate him being, but uh, Clax makes up the band, man. He's amazing. Shout out to Clax. Next is that boy Roy. Come on down here. My boy Roy is, uh, we call him uh, the next Gordon Parks. Because uh, uh, we should call him Royden Parks. He is, all those photos you see online that make these guys look like the superstars that they are times 10, that comes from his eyes. That comes from Roy, man. So. Roy, is a, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a very happy addition to this team. We really appreciate him. And he's like the unsung hero because he's so quiet. But he does so much to make us look good creatively online and all the output that you do. So shout out to Roy, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, big dog. Next is the boy Kutsu. Uh -huh. Ugly man. Ugly shout out to Kut. Let me, let me, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something about Kut, man. Way before there was 85 South Show, there was Carlos Miller at Cat's Cafe. Literally 20 people on a Tuesday night, sometimes 30 people on a Tuesday night. It would be Carlos with a mic hosting that, and it'd be Cuts who on the drum making magic. This is some six, seven, eight years ago. So Cuts been down with low since God knows how long. Talk full, your shit, full, up, man. Full, full circle, that's all I'm trying to say. So like, he, he, he know my wife when we started dating. Bro. Thank you, bro. All right, next is a young man with a camera's hand, young Najee. Flip flop. Flip flop. Man. Flip Grab you a close. No Man, let, let me tell you, uh, let me tell you about Najee. When me and Joe were working for Steve Harvey, uh, we was working on his camp, and young Najee was a young man that was like super quiet. He doesn't talk much. He always had a camera in his hand, and he would hit Joe every single chance he can for any opportunity for free. He was living in Atlanta at his sister's crib and would find a way to show up to whatever gig that we was on. And he'd been hustling ever since, and Joe was like, man, we gotta keep riding with him. So Najee is an amazing camera operator. Uh, I'm so proud of the growth, because I'm what, you're 22 years old? Yeah, 23. 23 years old. Uh, 
Nazi is Nazi is 23 years old, man. He, he operates like a grown man. He handles his business. Super proud of Nazi, man. Nazi. Hey, Nazi. If they took a picture of you right now, it would look like you about to choose what college you're going to. You're the first year of Oklahoma. Uh, la last, I'm sorry. We have two more people. Shout out to the boy Craig. Come yeah. on down here. Yes, sir. My dog. Craig. Love you, bro. Man, uh, am, am I allowed to tell how, how I met Craig? Okay. Once again, Joe and I are working for Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey used to have this segment called uh, Find Your Love. So where they take, locate your love. They, they take random people on dates. Craig was a random person going on a date. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Craig, I'm 26 and I'm from Jackson, Tennessee. So him and the date didn't work out. What they would allow Joe and I to have is a per diem that was way more money than we ever needed. And they allowed us to drive a truck for the night that we had to return, I think, that Monday. So me and Joe was like, hey, man, you want to go out? And he said yes, because it didn't work out. We went out, we got drunk, and we've been riding with Craig ever since. Yeah. Shout out to Craig. Yeah. Did niggas go find a date, so you asked them out? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah, we did. We did. We did. She yeah. was there too, though. She was there. She yeah. rolled with us, man. There was some women with us, bro. Oh, well, yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> All right. And then uh, we got one more person. We got one more person. Our musical director. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Let me tell y'all what makes 85 South special, aside from these super talented guys. Most people are conditioned to watch a stand-up comedy show with dark lights and one uh, microphone. My man J.O.N. gets on that beat and he creates a whole environment for these guys to play in. From the church segments uh, to, the, to the damn rap that y'all do when y'all first come out, it's like a whole, it's like futures out there when these guys first open the curtains. Everything to, uh, 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 the Apollo segment that we did, J-O-N is ready uh, every day, morning, night, lunchtime to play music and strum on that guitar and lead the rest of these guys into making music. So what makes our show so special is it's a variety show and people don't know what they're walking into. And he's a big part of that. So shout out to J-O-N. Uh, appreciate you, dog. Uh, so now that we've uh, thanked everybody and uh, 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 said our very uh, positive, uplifting things to everybody Thank here. Thank we have, uh, we have, please, we have, we have three more people that we have to thank. Chico B. Chico Bean uh, is one third of the 85 South show. Uh, he is one of the most talented, most gifted in controlling the pace of an audience. Uh, I don't know how he knows every single song in the world ever created. Uh, he somehow knows every single thing about every single city that we go to. Uh, and he controls the pace and the microphone in the way that I've never seen anybody else. Uh, he has made this show and taken it to another level. He's also the flyest person He's on the down. common stage. Style is impeccable. And uh, I want to run through some stats really quick, man. The 85 South Show Act Up Summer Comedy Tour sold 80,000 tickets this year. We touched 30 cities this year, 16 different states. We now have 1 million plus subscribers online. That's 102 million views online. And that's 50 million hours of people appreciating the work that these guys have done. So I got to give this to my man, Chico Bean. Wow. Appreciate you, man. Look at that. Look at us on there. Yeah, man. Uh, and I want to say this is y'all's first headline comedy tour, right? Am I wrong? OK, cool. We got another one for uh, Mr. John Whitfield. I met me and Joe. Me and Joe met uh, DC. Again, working for Steve. Uh, Joe reached out to DC on behalf of Steve's social media, uh, and we never told him. Faked it? Yes, you did. Yeah, we faked it. You faked it like it was Steve, but it was y'all niggas up on the Steve Twitter. I was like, yeah. yo, OG, I fuck with you. He's like, well, I've been fucking with you. That was y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was us. It was us. 
Uh, let me tell you another story. Well, I have two stories. The first time we met DC uh, was also with Nav Green during uh, Ratchet People Meet. They had a practice somewhere on Northside Drive, and there was all these talented people in the room. Me and Joe sat in the back. We were a bunch of nobodies, like legit nobodies. Fly was the first person that came and approached us and introduced himself and made sure that he looked Joe in his eyes, said hello, looked me in my eyes, said hello, uh, and we built the relationship from there. I can't tell you how many hours that I've watched him put in um, to see him grow over these past, what, five years? Uh, what, he does stand up, he's an actor, he's a, a producer, he's an artist, he's a rapper, uh, he gives back to the community every year, uh, he's a percussionist, uh, and man, I, I, I don't think that there's anything in the world that DC can't do, man. And I'm super proud to have him as a business partner because forget all the talent, uh, integrity, I don't think there's too many people that you're gonna meet that's gonna be as honest and as loyal as DC Young Fly. Last but not least, please come to the front. My guy. My guy. My man. Man. Carlos Miller. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I met I met I met Carlos. This is not a joke. I met Carlos in my senior year, 2005, in high school. Right. Carlos had just moved to Georgia, just to leave Mississippi, I believe, right? Comedy was not on our mind. Uh, we worked in the middle of the mall at a kiosk selling cell phones, no joke. Uh, and there were times, I don't think I sold one cell phone. <laughs> but, I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> All of the things that you see Carlos do now on stage, I promise you, I can verify that he was doing that to people walking uh, uh, through the mall, everything from rapping to jokes to stopping whoever and saying whatever's on his mind, that's been Carlos Miller. I've never seen anybody in the world that can control the room and can command presence like Carlos Miller. It's his world and we're kind of all living in it and I'm, a, I'm proud to be a participant in Carlos Miller's world. Uh, Los has actually gotten me like two or three jobs as I was a young person trying to figure out life. This one. <laughs> he got me this job, right? He's, 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 actually, he's actually like a big brother to me, man. So, um, yeah, Carlos Miller, man. I, I, the 85, no, I got another guy. So look, Carlos, this is my brother, man. This is my big brother, man, for real. Um, he's talked me off the ledge probably more times than anybody here. Uh, he's seen me through a lot of ups and downs, but man, when I tell you, I don't think there's any comedian in the world that can go joke for joke, stage for stage, bar for bar, talent for talent, Jordan for Jordan, car for car, jersey for jersey, uh, tweet for tweet, merch for merch, uh, sold out show for sold out show, snap back for snap back, with that guy, Carlos Miller, man. Oh yeah, I said. But seriously, man, we, we wanted to, um, obviously we have a big show tomorrow in Atlanta. Uh, we haven't been back in Atlanta, I wanna say three, four years. Yes. They've been begging for us to come. The show's been sold out for two, three months. Uh, and it's, it's the most important thing from, I believe, that we've created. As you move and navigate through the Hollywoods of the world and the people that want to use and abuse your talents is I think what's special about this is that everybody in this room, we get to control our world. We get to own our world. We control our pace. And that's not something that any of us take for granted. We get to hire the people that we want to hire. We get to work with the people that we want to work, to, work with. And we're allowed to say no because we're not really chasing any checks. Uh, we go create our own checks. So uh, this is a big thank you to these guys who are the leaders of this operation. Uh, let me also shout out Cat and Joe. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let me, I'm sorry. I didn't, it, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't shout these guys out. Uh, Cat, uh, we met working for Steve as well. Um, and when we introduced Cat to these guys, he told us this is exactly what he saw when he first saw Steve coming up. So if people don't know, Cat's married. He's got kids. He lives in L.A. He owns like three or four homes. Cat flies from every single city from LA. He'll do a show, 
He'll go back to his room, he'll do his work with Steve, and somehow manages all these homes and cribs that he has. So Cat has been a silent leader, a silent rock, a silent cornerstone. If there's, any, any, if, there's any, uh, if there's ever any down spirits, Cat is the one that's lifting everybody up. So uh, man, without Cat, I don't know if we have a heartbeat. So big shout out to Cat. Yeah, we got one for you right there. And, and last but not least, my dog Joe Newman. Joe. Man, let me tell y'all a story about Joe. Hey, I know we get money. Joe been dressed right up. Yeah. You hear him, but it's like flat on Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, man, uh, Joe is like my actual brother. We just don't share the same blood. Uh, we met in, in uh, college at Jacksonville University. Joe was playing basketball, I was playing football. I believe we both quit somewhere around our junior, <laughs> senior year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe can hoop. Oh, no, I was nice. I was way bigger, though. So anyways, I was way bigger, though. So, so uh, Joe moved back to Atlanta first. I believe he's working for Tyler Perry. He transitioned that job to working for Steve. I was working for another marketing agency, got fired. Uh, and Joe, yeah, Joe put a word in for me. He put his name on the line just so I can have just some assistant job working for Steve. Uh, as we were working there, we always took every single opportunity we could to uh, go hustle up and try to figure out how to make life work for ourselves. And Joe's been in the trenches since day one. Uh, I remember the first time he met Carlos. He believed in Carlos. He had the idea to reach out to DC. Uh, it was also part of Joe's idea. Actually, the 85 South Show was actually a radio show that we pitched that nobody would answer our phone call for. <laughs> and so Lowe said, well, let's put this on the internet. And we were like, okay, that sounds good. And then Lowe says, well, let's do a podcast. And all of us were like, well, what's a podcast? So uh, between Joe, Cat, and the rest of us, we figured it out. Uh, but Joe, man, uh, uh, selling tickets through advertising, all those episodes that you see that come out that look like Netflix specials every single week that we've spoiled all these people for. Uh, Joe is a man that's editing, that's also shooting and directing during the day of and somehow transitioning all these files, this equipment, these people, these conversations uh, back to Atlanta and getting the job done. So a huge shout out to Joe. Let's raise our glasses, man. This is a shout out to all of these beautiful black people here and non-black people. Yeah. Uh, black in spirit. Yeah. Like yeah, a whole lot of love, man. A huge shout out to DC. Huge shout out to Carlos, to Chico, to Joe, to Kat, to the crew, to Ricky, to Jenny, to Amy, to Natalia. Uh, fam, a huge shout out to fam. Thank God. Uh, Thank listen, God. man. Thank from, God. Yeah. yeah. God. Seriously. God. Seriously. God. So we're going to end the year in Atlanta, which is home for us. It's going to be an amazing show tomorrow. We've got some confirmed guests. We know we're going to blow it out of the water, but this is wrapping up 2019. 2020, we have a lot of big things, but this is a shout out to y'all and thank y'all for supporting us and ride with us. isn't loud. Confidence doesn't have to be loud. Now, mind you, if somebody trying to play you, then you know, that's, that's something different. But I, I just, me, and mind you, this is just my personal opinion. I don't feel like you gotta walk into a room and, and, and announce that you're there, because energy is big to me. Like, that's really what it's about. You know what I mean? You can feel them up. You know when a nigga walk in a room. Like, it's two type of people in the world, motherfuckers that enter a room and change the energy, and motherfuckers who exit the room and change the energy. So I like to be one of the motherfuckers who enter the room and change the energy. Back in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look, you catch what's up, man? Hey, don't catch. Yes, sir. <clears throat> back in the lounge, check cat. Oh, about tearing up in that lounge? We ain't even playing. <laughs> <laughs> we got that game face on. Look at that. Bam, game face. That's yeah. bean. Oh, it's dollars and peckle. You see? You Ain't see? nobody clean as Chico Ben. You see? Now, that's a perfect example of the difference. It's a perfect example. Like, he ain't got that type of personality. He gonna come in and he gonna, what's up, nigga? He gonna come in and he gonna, nigga, what's up, baby? I'm in this motherfucker. Bang, <laughs> <laughs> bang. That's, that's who he is. 
But yes, sir. like I said, the energy is what it's about. You can tell he's not doing that to try to impress none of us. He'll do that in a room by himself. And that nigga will probably be in the mirror by himself. Yeah, nigga, ain't nobody taking this chick on baby, nigga. <laughs> nigga, the sensei. Wait, ladies, <laughs> baby daddy's in the house. Nobody. This nigga making food in the kitchen. But you can feel that. Like, you know what I mean? I can. You can feel, you know, when a person is genuinely who they are. You know what I mean? And you can also feel when a motherfucker forces them. It feels great, man. This is where, this is where we built it at. We at home, baby. You know what it's like when you're at home. It's just hit different. Home to hit different. Even Chico would tell you, he ain't even from here and they feel like we're at home. Don't. Oh, yeah. Feel like we're at the crib. Just cool to see. How many people been wanting to see us? He feel like he took his auto and lied Nigga, why I got there? Weird as hell. Come on, man. They can't be doing me like that. It's like a phase. It's kind of like a phase. Y'all niggas lucky to still have here. Something blank. Y'all niggas still got. Look at all that shit, nigga. I wish a nigga could fuck my line up. Off the card, fuck my shit up. Man, weed, bro. I don't got no backwoods, bro. I'm gonna do it the big way, man. 85 South Way. I'm going super south though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it always take out of town niggas to book a nigga at the crib, so you know. They get to see the show with, it, with the whole world, but they know me, so you know what I mean? It like family being back at the crib. You know, know how that shit go. Love being in the city. Last two of the year. It's been a great run. I was looking at the plaque, what we hit? 30, 30 cities, 16 states. That's what we did. 80,000 tickets. Yes, sir. That hard. Independent tickets. Independent. That hard. 50 million views. Shit, I got to clap for that. Congratulations again to our brother Chad. That shit was beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, we right here, we right behind. <laughs> I'm like, man, what the fuck? 
what the fuck? <laughs> you been sitting outside the whole time? Nigga, chat right here. This <laughs> crap. <laughs> I just had them serves, though. Oh, man, you need to eat, man. I mean, I was just, That's why you pass out the restaurant when I say, man, I'm hungry. You got to yeah. hit it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga like, I will not be tested, Lord. <laughs> I will not be tested, Lord. <laughs> Makes this what it is. A lot of love, a lot of family, and man, I just appreciate everybody just for being a part of the vision. You know what I'm saying? Even if we don't all have the same vision, this is the same. It makes this shit dope, and that's what made it dope. Is you know everybody adding their part and their piece to what it is. And I wouldn't change anybody in this room for another motherfucker because everybody who, whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know it's more than one thing because everybody does a lot of shit here, but. You, we make this shit dope, so thank y'all for bringing what you bring and making this shit dope, supporting us, however it is, that you, you know what I'm saying? Because you go over and beyond to make this shit what it is, and we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you. And we're really looking forward to making this bigger and better, man, 2020. Said, we open. We asking you to bring your creative, you know what I mean, your ideas to the table, your ideas, your thoughts just to make this shit be even bigger. So let's do that. Let's focus, let's be safe, let's have a great, great night, great rest of the year, great Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Dream bigger, we running out of shit to ask for. Make sure you <laughs> stay thankful, stay humble, and keep pushing, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of people make shit happen, you know, through this, and that's the best feeling in the world. So don't be afraid to dream big. Yes, sir. That's sure. the motivation. I mean, you know, this is beautiful, man. Like, you know, this is this was started from from just an idea, and then from ideas, jobs were created, and livelihoods were better. You know, people are able to. I got a Rolex on. As funny as that may sound, that's an accomplishment, man. Many of us come from nothing, so when you make something out of nothing, that's something to be thankful for. You know, God is great, and you know, this is a blessing is coming to fruition. You know what I mean, like. It's all hard work and dedication from everybody in the room. You know, we've all started where we started at, and we've been through a whole lot of different scenarios and situations throughout this process, but it's brought us here, going into a new year, you know, making things happen that I'm sure a lot of people didn't even have in their mind that we could accomplish, you know, and that's, that's one of the things that I advise all of y'all to do. Don't ever limit yourself to what your mind can think, because you're going to be shorting yourself, because none of us could have really imagined what we've done this far. So. Don't just limit yourself to what you can think about. Just know that whatever is possible is possible and we're gonna make it happen as long as we keep ourselves focused and understand that, you know, we come from a, you know, a lot of different environments and, you know, we just rap shooting a TV show that we all got our start on, but this is something that we started from the ground and it's family, you know what I mean? And, and everybody that gets to be around us is family. So I just wanna say that, you know, to everybody that's in this room, thank you for, you know, helping me make my family life, life better and my life better and all of the work that you do. And, you know, uh, I, I can't say enough, man. Just appreciate everybody. And, you know, we're just going to keep moving forward and keep pushing forward and making this thing become the biggest that we can possibly get it, man. You know, uh, me and Flower was talking when we were in L.A. We was walking down the Hollywood Walk of Fame and, and just looking at all of the different people that didn't accomplish that. And with this, we can get multiple stars. So, you know, just keep that in mind, you know what I mean? Nothing is unaccomplishable when you got this type of environment. So salute to everybody. Let's make some more history. I sit back and play my position as the artist on stage because that's what my main job is. You see what I'm saying? But if you want to do the business side, I'm we all play a bigger part on the business side, but when you have people that's on your team that you trust, that you put your, that you, you, that you can trust with your life, you don't have to be in the same room with them to know that they have your best interests. You feel what I'm saying? You don't have to be around to be 
happen to know exactly everything what's going on. Now, nah, I know you're gonna take care of me because when it's my time, when the curtains open up, who gotta take care of y'all? You see what I'm saying? Don't you believe in me? So I believe in you. You feel me? And I and when we built this from literally the ground, like he was coming. I remember when Lowe's came to me, how it all started with, you know what I'm saying? The rap people meet me like, man, you wanna do a podcast? Like what's a podcast? He was like, you know, what I'm saying? like it's radio shit. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we we think gonna be talking, you know what I'm saying? Doing our shit, you feel me? And I'm just like, you know, uh, you know, it's another lane. It's not nothing that is the unknown. But I'm like, alright, shit. I had a friend that tell me about some shit, and I jumped off on faith before. I got another friend who I look at as an OG who I seen coming up as before I was going on your comedy. I trust his comedic judgment, so I'm like. Let's, let's try it. And before you know it, by us just trying some shit, bro, just literally trying some shit. Started from, we was in a room, three mics, got kicked out that studio, <laughs> had to find another studio, but we were just like, let's not stop this because this can lead up to, I'm talking about, we weren't getting no money. None. I'm talking about we did this shit about two and a half, three years for free. <laughs> just cause. Like recording just just cause. Like what you doing tomorrow at 9 30? You just you need an hour to just talk some shit. They go. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like look when when you got people who believe in God and we become a force. And we all believe in one another and we allow each other to do what people are here to do. Like like Lo said earlier, everybody got a part, bro. That's why I don't, when they say the music people, I don't know. <clears throat> they handle they business. I'm not over there fucking with y'all chords. <laughs> not over there. Y'all do what y'all do, can y'all do it the best, bro. Right. You feel me? We allow y'all to do that. You dig what I'm saying? And and that's what, what this show is. And if, if you take nothing from anything, it's a you want to be in a, a team environment, a sport, a, a, a real good, great environment with great spirited people where you ain't got to worry about nobody stabbing you in the back. You ain't got to worry about people hanging out. This love. If we got a, any type of problem, we're going to sort it out. You feel me? First of all, we black owned. Yeah. They swear somebody with us. They swear, goddamn, boy. They don't know how we moving. They don't believe that we are capable of doing This is how black businesses start. This is how black businesses start. It started from ground zero, and then we spread this. Now, it's going to be a whole bunch of other little bitty 85 South shows that is we building a blueprint for. And people are trying. If you have you witnesses, there's already been... Niggas are doing podcasts just just cause what? <laughs> Niggas got shit to say, and who inspired these motherfuckers to say shit? So let's keep the inspiration going. You feel what I'm saying? Let's keep the motivation going. Let's stay prayed up. Let's stay humble. This is only the beginning, people. Right. This is only the beginning. Say what you want. World squirrel, I'm just living in it. Oh, that shit is dope. Dollar bill, so good. Good. my guy. Hey, I got somebody trying to come. Hold on. Hold on. Another one. First Atlanta show in the can, my man. Do you understand? Back again. One more game. One more game. Well, once again, the family's all here. Yes, sir. Like I've been saying for the last few minutes, this is the last show of 2020. 2019. <laughs> I didn't skip the year. I didn't skip the year. My bad. I'm hot. I'm on this backwoods shit. 2019, man. We saying goodbye. We did our motherfucking thing. I'm proud of everybody in this room. You know what I'm saying? Because if you in this room, that means you in this circle. Yes, sir. 
just man, shout out to my man James Davis, this man that yeah. had about five, yeah. six days yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. Around it, you know, just the family. These man, I've been knowing these dudes for you know over ten years, man. So it's just dope to see that everybody is here for one occasion, and it's a good occasion, a happy occasion. We laughing. We got the family in the room. Like I said, my man Nav, man, you were hustling. You can just look around the room. It's an all-star cash, man. How can we not have a good time? We got Dro in the building. We got Tiff in the building. Travis Porter blessed us on the first show. Nigga, Ed Reed bought me a motherfucker. Ed Reed brother. brought Chico some one of the coldest. Dog winged up. He brought me the dog winged up. Personally. Hey, see, it be shit like that, man. These are the moments that mean something to us, man. It ain't about none of the other shit. That, it's the personal highlights, man. Just meeting your heroes. And, you know, when Deion Sanders come out and kick it with you, Ed Reed, one of the top football players to ever do Hall it, man. You know, Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. You know, these are people that we grew up idolizing. And to see them be a fan of something that we created is dope, man. You know what I'm saying? So, proud of my folks, proud of my brothers, my nigga Loose Legs, man. You done killed it. You done <laughs> fucked me. Bro, you done literally air fucked every city. <laughs> Like we always give you the most props because man, you the young gun out the squad and you impress us with your talent yeah, each yeah. and every day, bro. We know mm -hmm. you good at everything you do and to see you excel, your music, your dancing, your comedy, your directing, your you buying property, you community taking care service. of your family, your yeah. community <laughs> service, yeah. you just being a man for your family. And look how many of your, your, you know what I'm saying, your blood is in the room and you take them everywhere you go and you treat them just like your success is your success. Those are the things that we admire about you. We know you're a super talented motherfucker. So getting to know you over these years and getting to know you as a person and watch you grow as a man, watch you grow as a father, me and Chico, we, hey bro, we probably the biggest fans you got, my nigga. Right. This sex Third show, show about to turn up, go crazy, man. Like he said, man. We appreciate everybody in this room. You know what I mean? Everybody definitely contributed to whatever part of this success, man. Because we started from ground zero. And to see us here, you dig what I'm saying? God is real, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't take nothing from anything, please take that with you. God is great. You feel me? We can all be somebody. You did to live right and do right by others. Yes, sir. Let's look at this show as a start of 2020. So let's not relax. Let's finish and go through the finish line strong. Uh, let's keep uplifting these amazing talents that we have in front of us and serving us and serving them the very best that we can as they use their talents to give it to the rest of the world. We appreciate y'all. We love everybody here. We really mean that from the bottom of our hearts. All right, let's bow our heads. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you for this opportunity that we don't take for granted. <laughs> People got the white man with them, but they ain't got this type of white man. Check the kicks out. Those are the calls three. Calls three right there. And I say, uh, man, when did those come out? He said, yeah, they only made eight of them. Oh, he got on, one. Man. One of the original members of the Beastie Boys. <laughs> yep. He left the group to get his own money. He started a construction company. That's why he, you know. <laughs> he owns an aquarium. They put aquariums in your house. <laughs> shark tanks and real ones with sharks in them. Don't never tell him what you do, man. Never. Don't even say his name. 
Chad, do this with me. What's up? Uh, hey man, we just finished our last show in 2019. Finish it out strong. Was it crazy? It was everything that we hoped for four years ago. Everything that we said it was gonna be four years ago is exactly what it was. Hey man, and a shout out to all our special guests that came through and showed us love. Uh, uh, I ain't no, don't we ain't gonna name them because we don't know. We don't. We just want you to see it. Once you see it, you'll know who we talking I'm about. I'm spilling the beans. You're spilling the beans. You always want to give them so much. You said you give them the beans, but you got to make them work for it. I'm so the Atlanta shows were crazy. We got the whole city behind us. Yeah. Thank y'all. Much love. Much support. Stay tuned. Um, 2020, we going crazy. That's all I can say. Crazy. Crazy. I'm not going to say nothing else because I spill the beans. I don't even know how we going to top that. We're going to have to really go to the round table and really put our heads together and try to figure out yeah, what do you do after that. What you, that's the perfect end to a tour. Yeah, that was... Yeah. That was the one. Hey, Carlos Miller, 85 South Show. Say your, say your goodbyes, man. Uh, thank you to everybody that supported us, the way that you supported us. We're going to take a break for like two weeks. At best. We'll be right back at it for 2020. We've got a whole lot coming. The paperwork is just drying as we speak. The ink is drying as we speak. We appreciate your support. Uh, the fact that you believe in these guys, the way that we do means the world too. Much love. We out. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. What you been eating, bro? Uh, like walking like they got in the hospital. That's the nah, I'm straight. Well, we left late last night. You know, I ain't really get. Yeah, we got three shows today. You yeah. get shit. Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, we straight. <laughs> they gonna... said you're sure. Yeah. Tonight, you might see that nigga swag on somebody today. No. Hey, bitch. One picture. <laughs> one fucking picture. My knees weak, bitch. We got two more shows. Come on, we got one. Come on, out of here. My knees weak. <laughs> no, no. That nigga gonna be taking pictures like this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You know that nigga irritate take pictures already. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. We won't be straight. We got three shows. We straight. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do that shit, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm I, glad. Uh, I, I love to eat and get hot. I can't starve myself, man. <laughs> No, I just been eating like fruit, you know what I'm saying? Man, that ain't gonna do it. Man, ain't no motherfucking goat. Jesus will still let you in the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But if you wanna eat a waffle, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a... Alright. Yeah. I'm trying to explain it. I don't wanna go to hell. I'm gonna eat my fruit. Lord, I'm gonna eat my fruit. <laughs> We should all eat healthy. But in front of him, I see he, he's really hungry in the face. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired, bro. I'm just real tired. But I'm good. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> hey, bro. He didn't cry right here, but You hear me? That's how you cry, bro. You hear me? <laughs> you know, we work hard, so obviously we can take care of ourselves, but we can I know, man, I'm just giving you that, because I really was getting to this. Okay. I'm about to change my dad. Nice. Yeah. Fuck like, yeah. I'm about to eat a little more pussy. <laughs> 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 a little more pussy in the dark. <laughs>